his fault. All right, so not Paul's, my fault. Paul's surgically enhanced tonight. <laughs> that's, that's right. I'm bionic. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> Up with the ball is Marmon. Marmon tries to get to the far side. He's swarmed over by a host of Lancers and Brock at the 16-yard line for the Crusaders. They're now set two receivers to the right, one to the left, and you can see the dual backs with the quarterback. Bell looks to throw. Throwing downfield for his favorite target that and was, is caught. That was a push off, by the way. I don't know if we saw it on the camera there, but that should have been offensive <laughs> pass interference. So Cannon will call it good body position. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> physical receiver play results in a long, uh, long reception. Bring the Lancers out. I formation behind him. The give to the tailback pickup of about five yards. As soon as he unpiled the pile, that was number 45, who's Marty Manukian, who we, he is actually in Cameron Fariba, has been slowed by injuries, and Marty Manukian is coming to take his place, and has gotten, pretty much become the premier running back for the Lancers, and picked up five right there. That's one good way to keep moving the chains, if you can get five yards every time you run the ball. To give a fumble, it looks like, well, maybe on the ground. It looked like that was going to be the option, but uh, Reardon hit pretty hard on that on that dive play. They did, they did, and a pickup, maybe a yard. We'll call just couldn't come up with it. Third and fifteen. Bell with the ball, big blitz oh, on, blitz and a good screen, screen called by the Crusaders. Plenty of room to run, one man to beat. A nice. Arm tackle there by the Lancers, and it comes down inside the 10. That was Van Amberg on the touchdown saving tackle there. It was John Marmon on the screen pass, and boy, they ran that very, very well as the Lancers came on a jailbreak. Yep. And it worked perfectly. That's kind of Reardon winning the chess match there. <laughs> they did, because they single back behind him is Igbuza. The give to Igbuza. He's got a hole. He's near the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. The Reardon Crusaders take it right downfield on their second possession after an initial penalty. And they get into the end zone for the touchdown in a 6 to nothing lead. Well, nothing really fancy on that play. They just handed it off, found a small seam. There were Lancers there, but uh, they didn't get a full piece of... Uh... Down and get some points on the board. They can put themselves back into this ball game. Trips right, Spindlari with the draw. Up the middle, it's Manuki and Manuki and breaking free, carrying tacklers with him. Gets inside the 25 to the 24 yard line. Well, maybe the Lancers have opened up their playbook kind of by default now. They've got to throw a little bit, pick up the tempo. They're down by three scores here. They know they got to score on this drive. And all of a sudden, their pass is setting up the run rather than the other way around. Exactly. And a big run there by Marty Manuki and will freeze those linebackers down. Another look at it. Now, he was hit near the line, but just really good hard running. Again, the, the sort of the line around the edge. And both times they penetrated around the edge. The play gets stalled, and then that guy gets in the backfield and makes the play. Larry under center, the give, the jump by Fariba, he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Cameron Fariba vaults into the end zone, puts the Lancers on the scoreboard. The cannon goes off, 8.01 to go in the third quarter. It's a 21-6 weird lead and out for the extra point. Here's the touchdown. And yeah, that was almost stopped. Crusader side of the field. Scudelari has it. Throwing downfield. Has got a man. Van Amber got him. He's at the 5 4 3. Touchdown, St. Francis. Oh, my. Sam Scudelari. Wow. With a completion to <laughs> Ryan Van Amber and into the end zone. And the Crusaders are dazed and confused at the moment. They came in to start the second half with a 21 to nothing lead and suddenly with 3.48 to go in the third, it is 21-13 and then they're looking at Ryan. And again, Scudelari extends the play just a little bit. And that is, that's a very small pocket he dropped that ball into. It was over the corner. It was almost like a... Two receivers left, two receivers right. Scudelari from the shotgun, has a little bit of time. Throws downfield wide open and caught! Houston Clark into the end zone, and oh my! 
the Lancers are just shredding the Crusader defense at this point in time. Well, they rushed six on that one and kept one linebacker in. So their Clark has been really all over the place today, Boy, too. Boy, he has. Here's another look at it here. It's a perfect pass by Scudelari. Just over the outstretched arms of the defender. It's a 20 this game really couldn't have ended any other way, Paul. No, and, and it's, wow. I mean, you know, as we talked about earlier, it was a tale of two halves. And where you might see Darius Bell roll out. Absolutely. And, and have the option to run the ball. Cannon single set to the right side. Short drop, throwing towards the end of touchdown. And just like that, Daniel Cannon was wide open and in for the touchdown. So one play into the end zone, and now Reardon is, we'll see what the call is. They are not in the shotgun. It appears that Darius Bell will go under center. The ball's on the one and a half yard line. He may go for the sneak. You gotta be very careful here. Motion. Bell trying to take it himself. He's into the end zone. No signal yet, but it appeared he certainly had enough to get in there. Still no signal. There it now is. Now the signal, there it is. Reardon with the win. We would like to thank our producer director, Bobby Chastain, our excellent camera crew of Robin Frank, Tim Erskine, Lisa Tesler, and Bob Johnson. Special thanks to the St. Francis and Reardon Athletic Department and Joe Schramm, who always help us out with statistics whenever we need one here at the ball game at St. Francis. He's always there for us. If you'd like to get a DVD or a copy of this game, you can contact us via the website or call the station and phone in an order. We don't deliver, though. Just remember that. <laughs> for all of us here at KMVT, for Ryan Dom, I am Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.